you guys could see that it is the fourth time I'm breeding bearded dragons. Really excited. We get some nice babies. The last couple times I've been breeding bearded dragons, um, it, they were very successful. Had some very beautiful babies. I just didn't have that many eggs. I only had eight to at least 12 eggs. That is not that much if you want to have a successful sale on them. Um, babies are always very beautiful. You can see how they came from Ringo himself. And he's got a new, a new uh, mate. You'll see her in just a sec. So this is Lily. She is 499 grams, 17 inches long, from Blood Bank Bearded Dragons. Very, very, very good source of buying dragons. She's a hypo leatherback. Very, very small spike. She's very smooth. Pretty fat. Very tame. Very beautiful in light colors. And she has never bred before. This is the first time. Not expecting her first clutch to be fertile. Let's move on. So this is Rengo. He has 890 grams. He got a lot bigger in the last few weeks. He is 22 inches long from Rainbow Bearded Dragons. He is a Super German Giant Crimson X. 45% Het and 20% Trans Hypo, I believe. Um, huge dragon, very beautiful, always creates very nice eggs, very nice, or very nice babies, excuse me. Um, he always makes beautiful, beautiful, beautiful babies. So yes, they did meet for the first time several hours ago. They seem to have a good liking for each other. Ringo seems to be wanting to mate with her, along with Lily. So I'm really having a good, good feeling about this, and I'm going to start actually breeding them in about a month or two, if my friend's all right with it. And hope I can sell you guys some really beautiful dragons. See you guys. Stay tuned.